As Walter Lord said in his book, The Day of Infamy, no matter how they learned, it was a day they would never forget. At the time, I was dating a cocktail waitress who got off work at 2 o'clock in the morning. So we met at about that time and uh, went horseback riding. And we rode out uh, about six or eight miles into uh, uh, North Long Beach, California to a restaurant to have breakfast. And when we got there, uh, everybody was excited with the news. And I don't think that people are forgetting or forgetting what it was all about. But we are. A couple of blocks they and several generations lives. away from um, Lou, elementary school children read headlines of Pearl Harbor's 40-year-old yeah. memories. Mm -hmm. Still, they, the they don't they really they understand. We the war. Which one? <laughs> World War II? Carlo Faschini remembers he was 15 and hawking journals and Oregonians on Portland street corners. As soon as I found out the war started, I went down to the journal building, with Jackson Towers, on 6th and Yam Hill and picked up a bundle of papers and went up by my house on 3rd and Sheridan and started selling papers. I, I couldn't believe that something like that had happened. It just It was unbelievable that anybody would strike us, would you know, strike America of all, pe of all nations. And Once, uh, the president declared the day of infamy. Uh, we went full, full barrel to a wartime uh, situation. But we are at peace now. Fozzie Bear and the rest of the Muppet clan now surround Pearl Harbor's memories. Our children are more interested in gerbils than Japanese zeros. When did you first know what Pearl Harbor was? Well, a couple of years ago, I thought it was in New York at first, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was out in the um, tropics because I thought that's where pearl divers went and picked up pearls. Do you ever hear your parents talk about Pearl Harbor? No. <laughs> Do you ever hear your grandparents talk about Pearl Harbor? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, the devastation of that balmy Hawaiian Sunday is reduced to pictures that fascinate. I know, look at this before and after. Yeah, that's good. It's so awesome. Today's elementary school social studies books certainly don't concentrate on the day that reshaped America's future. Pearl Harbor now fits into just two paragraphs. It is a day, however, that many will always hang on to. Hollywood, with its enchantment with war, made millions 10 years ago with the release of Torah, Torah, Torah. And though confused about why, Today's generation does know something about what their grandparents felt that day. American was, they were mad. They were, con they were mad because of all the, of, of all the killing, and no one really wanted to, to watch what happened there, because it was so sad.